Hi, it's Cash Pad Podcast. We're back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be talking about Joe Buttons and NBA Young Bull going back and forth. And Joe Buttons basically saying how you feel and all this good stuff. So let's get into it, man. We'll be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this shit is so hard. Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves, you know? That's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. Ice Cash Pad Podcast, we back, man. Listen, man, we're going to get into this clip real quick of Joe Buttons talking about NBA Young Bull, and then we're going to talk, we're going to get into the clip of NBA Young Bull talking about Joe Buttons, and then we're going to get into another clip of Young Joe Buttons talking about NBA Young Bull. It's back and forth, so let's go. Getting down here, uh, you ready to tell the truth about NBA Young Boy? Uh, not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? That nigga's trash. He's horrible. He is horrible. Damn. He is horrible. He is really, 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 really bad. As a rapper or a person? I'm, I don't know him as a person. Oh, okay. I'm only speaking about music. Music. He's really, really, really bad. And that thing happened with him where when he was out, the label pushed a button and did some YouTube shit. So then all the little kids had to just come to the fucking come to the gathering and tell you about NBA young boy views and how great he is and how awesome he is and how amazing he's doing. Now that the label's backed up a bit, and now that we done had about three or four projects while he's been in Utah on house arrest. You've had way more than that. I know. And that's that, that, I know. that to me, is where the I problem know. lies. Because earlier young What else do I have? Don't sound like this to me. Like even he just dropped a single today. I listened to it last night. And I cut it off midway through. I'm He's just like, boy. I can't. What's the difference between his music then and now? The shit, me, I could hear it. Like, I literally, I can hear it. It don't sound like this to me. Yeah, man, so. I mean, I like this Joe. I'm not going to lie. I like the Joe who used to speak his feelings. This, the reason why I stopped watching podcasts, Joe Button podcasts, I watched, I watched it. I watched Joe Budden podcast and it was called I'll name this podcast later. I watched every episode with Marissa before Rory, Joe, Marissa, him, Joe and Rosenberg. I watched it from the very beginning. I was the biggest Joe Button fan telling you, and he didn't hold no punches towards nobody. If he didn't like it, he said he didn't like it. If he liked it, he said he liked it, but you, you went to him for the truth. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to speak too much on it, but we're going to get into the next clip of NBA Young Bull, you know, talking about Joe Buttons. So let's get into it. Drop was decided to my album still in the top 10, pussy ass nigga. Don't speak on me, I don't play that shit. Don't rat on me neither, you pussy bitch. Yeah, bubba. I said, I want that piece about two the old nigga. Stupid, baby. dumb bitch. Do your dick don't even get hard no more. Count ass nigga. You ain't, no, ain't no sabotaging me, bitch. Fuck wrong with that nigga, man. Don't rat on me. I'm don't rat on me, bitch. And I don't want to argue with your bitch ass, nigga. Hey, bitch, you do all them interviews. Hey, come on, great nigga, mount and talk to me, nigga. You can't, bitch. If you can't do that, man, hey, you bitch made, nigga. Shut your fucking mouth. Sixty thousand, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> That's six times in a row. That's sixty thousand, bitch. Come on, my money. Nigga. Yeah. So, as you can see stupid belligerent can't take somebody saying they didn't like their stuff stupid young nigga you know what i'm saying inviting a nigga to come like all right man i'm I'm gonna go to the next john and then we can talk about it no he's he's a he's he he 
his podcast is the number one music podcast. podcast. So he's, he... I just want to say I'm way bigger than him. Stop this. You are not oh, bigger shit. than Young Boy, Joe. I think you, you are not bigger talk. than Young Boy. I think you guys should talk. I think he says way bigger than him. He's speaking on a overall presence platform, like not, Yo, not the young, the, you, you young idiots get fooled by these label metrics and these digital tricks. Would you like me to read you the numbers on Young Boy's last six projects? No, Yo, go I, for no, it. No, go no, for no, it. No, 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 no. Go for it. Go for it. Yo, don't, don't cut him off while he's talking. Yo, Joe, go for it. Right, <laughs> you want to read? I mean, I don't want to. I, I mean, I didn't, uh, I, had, no, I, didn't, I didn't think I had to do this. Because I'm sure someone here is recording. Oh. Uh, I mean, we're always, we record every. It's on you. 20... I don't think Joe is cloud chasing. Real 20, quick. 2022, never broke again. Quando Rondo, LLC, 14,000 copies. Week one, Billboard position 62. Then you have uh, Fed's baby, money bag, yo, 2017, 21,000. Week one, 38, uh, 3,800 degrees, October 7th, 2022, 24,000. Uh, what else we got better than you with the baby? March 4th, 2022, 28,000. Until I return, 2020, 29,000. Stop this, yo. Stop. You skipped a January, bunch of projects, just bro. Reading, you skipped a 6, bunch of projects. Jameson, 29,000. Here, we got another one here. 2022. Drum, I got a fan. Real 20, quick. 2022. 39,000. We got another one here. September 6th. Never broke again. 39,000. We got another one here. 2018. 43,000. We got another one. 43,000. 2018. We got another one here. 51,000. 2023. The point is, you, you're doing a lot for somebody that don't sell more than 60,000 records. Like, stop it. I get they care for you. the box, Joe! <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. But enough of it. Enough young people just saying stupid shit in hip-hop. We get it. You like who you like. Awesome. But... It's not this dominant force that you niggas keep trying to make it out to be. Y'all do the same thing with Grant. Y'all do the same thing with all these new niggas that y'all like. Just 39,000. We got another one here, September 6th. Never broke again. Hey, man, listen, man. I've been saying the same thing that Joe is saying now. We've been saying this for so long, man. These dudes are trash. And the thing is, they looking for street cred to keep them up. But the problem with that is, is the streets is dead. The streets is dead. All the people that listen to you are snowflakes. They get upset at your opinion. Rap is a blood sport. How is it that people get so upset when they say that you're not good as a rapper? You're supposed to, when someone says you're not good, you're supposed to prove them wrong. You want to fight a dude because he says that you're not good. You're trying to sabotage me. If Joe Buttons was, wasn't that important or wasn't that big of an artist or wasn't that big of a, a personality, right? How can he sabotage you? You're much bigger than him. Like the girl said, stop, Joe. You're not bigger than NBA young bull. Really? How's that? His one record sold more than his whole career. Okay, look. Here's the thing which y'all got to understand about the music industry. The music industry is filled with tricks. It's all trickery. It's, it's, it's a game. They have this thing called streaming farms. Where they literally have thousands of phones, iPad, tablets, whatever they can get to stream. Songs. Because... It don't cost nothing to stream. Mm -hmm. So they'll have, it's called the streaming farm. I want you to understand this. You can look this up. Thousands of phones, they stream the song. So you stream the song, you run up the numbers. If you stream in the song, 
you running up the numbers. That's how you get paid. I believe for every, I think it's every 1,500 streams is counted. No, every 3,700 screen, streams is counted as one album sale. So if you sell, if you have one single and that one single, you stream that one single, I don't know how many times, you know what I'm saying? All you need is one. You don't need two. You just need one. That count as an album sale. Different from just selling physical media, which was better. So now they figured out the game, whereas if they could put at least a million dollars into something, they'll make back probably 10 because of the streaming farms. A lot of people don't understand that. That's how it works. So they, they manipulate the numbers. That's just what it is. They manipulate the numbers. They've been doing this since streaming became a thing. That the, the companies wasn't doing this at first because they didn't know. But now they know. You know what I'm saying? So people like NBA Youngball, they're not as big as y'all think. Okay, maybe he may be big to certain people, maybe in the hood, or you got, and it's another thing y'all got to stop doing. You got to stop thinking that just because everybody listened to it in your neighborhood that everybody was listening to it. There's artists that's 10 times bigger than NBA Young Bull that you never even heard of. Mm-hmm. You ever heard of K-pop? K-pop is a hundred times bigger than NBA Young Bull. But, because y'all hear NBA Young Boy and your boy play it and your girl play it and the dude around the corner play it, y'all think he's the greatest, you know, the biggest artist in the world. He's not. Mm-hmm. No. So when Joe reading off the numbers like that, I know it's going to kill a lot of people to hear that. And then you're going to get a lot of people who defend it. He had more projects than that. That makes it even worse. If 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 you're telling me that he had more projects than that, that means he had more low numbers. Mm-hmm. And a lot of y'all, which really kills me, is a lot of y'all don't even know nothing. Y'all just go off of what y'all hear. He brought the numbers, and what you what y'all do? Instead of saying, "Damn, where you get that from?" I'm gonna look that up too. You trying to defend it with no evidence? He has the evidence. He has the. He brought all the the, the receipts. <laughs> he brought the receipts. Of the billboard numbers that matter. And y'all saying to him, we had more projects than that. <laughs> this man brought the receipts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I commend Joe for that. Because the baby's going to get involved. Trust me. And that's his artist so you know he's gonna get involved he's gonna say oh joe don't play with me joe and it's the same old tired tired street stupid hood nigga shit well because you can't take an opinion the same old tired of paint same old tired oh yeah you don't know me i'm all, i can run down on you i got guys all you all you street so-called thug niggas are snowflakes oh my god Y'all can't even take an opinion. Nobody playing with you. It's saying he's just saying he don't like your music. If he's not that relevant, then why do you care? Butt hurt over something like that. It's crazy. And then you telling the nigga on Instagram or Twitter or at whatever or TikTok, you telling the nigga to come to where you at and don't be ratting. So you basically telling a nigga that you're going to do something to him on camera and you telling him don't rat. You just rat it on yourself. <laughs> hey, man, look, man. Enough is enough. Um, I think this all stems to like, uh, you know, whatever momentum, whatever fan base or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um movement he got going he don't want somebody as big as joe to kill it 
you know. But according um, to him, Joe's not big. Yeah, I, we know that. That's what. No, he, he said. says that. He says you know Joe's I mean? not big. Yeah, I know, but that's what he said. You know, but he knows Joe is big. That's my whole point. That that's why that's the point I'm trying to get to. He knows Joe Buttons is big, and he know his platform is tremendous. Right? So why he capping then? He capping for the camera, for the camera, capping bro. For the camera. That's he's a new capping one. For the, capping he's for the capping camera. for the camera. Listen, capping man. For the camera. You know, listen. <laughs> you know good and well, Joe Button is bigger than a lot of you rappers, a lot of you up and coming rappers right now. And NBA Young Boy is no different. Now, I don't listen to his music, so I can't speak on his music or anything. I've heard maybe like one or two songs, but I ain't break down his music enough to like really say, oh yeah, this is, cause you know what I mean? I just don't, his music don't attract my attention. I just don't be on that space like that. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. if he collabs with one of my favorite artists, then I, I, you know what I mean? I'll consider trying to listen to something from him. But as of right now, no. You know what I mean? Anyway, getting back to what I was saying, like, uh, I mean, what what are you gonna say? You gonna argue with him over his opinion? Yeah, his opinion comes off harsh, but so what? That's his opinion. If he doesn't, if you don't feel that he's big, right? Then why are you catching feelings? Why catch feelings at all? You know what I'm saying? Just shrug it off and be like, yo, I'm going to show you what it is, old head, or whatever. And go do your thing. And then come back later and be like, yo, remember when you said this? Well, look at this. You know what I'm saying? Like, me, when I... Listen, man. Y'all got to stop being so sensitive, man. Like, I, I do understand his platform is huge and it can kill your momentum. I get it. But if he's not such a... If he's not such so big like you say then it's not going to harm nothing it might even help honestly it might even help you know but hey man you got to respect joe man and joe joe's one of a kind man his his opinion is solidified and it ruffles feathers but joe don't care uh, my question is is how can Joe Buttons stop your momentum. That, but you, that, my, my, I understand that he has a platform. Mm -hmm. But my question is if you are one of the biggest artists in the world, like you say you are, right? Joe Buttons mm -hmm. doesn't even, I don't believe he has a million people on his, on his, uh, on his YouTube channel yet. I don't believe he has a million. He's still the biggest music podcast in the world because it is what it is but how can you say a washed up failed rapper you mean a washed up failed rapper <coughs> how is it that a washed up failed rapper can affect you Drake said the same thing you Drake, you're the biggest artist in the world, but Joe Buttons is irrelevant. But you are responding to Joe. He's irrelevant. Well, you know what it is. It has nothing to do with the momentum. It has nothing to do with these dudes. Feel like they're invincible, and they feel like they're untouchable, and no one can say anything about them in their eyes that they deem to be negative. Calling somebody trash, I would say that's negative. It's still an opinion, but that's negative to them, right? But at the right. same time, if you're so confident in your work, you wouldn't care. There's a lot of people that call people trash. These people call Joe Buttons trash. They could they say he only has one hit. Pump it up. That's my thing. You got all these people who literally say that people are garbage artists they say these artists is bad this artist is trash this artist ain't no good people said michael jackson was bad people said prince was bad 
Like for real. He literally said that they didn't like Michael Jackson. They didn't like his voice. It's high pitch. So my thing is, is these dudes think they're invincible. Rappers think they're invincible. They think that they are. No one can say anything about them. Because if they do, instead of him, instead of Yingbei Yumbo saying, yeah, man, that's Joe's opinion. It's all good. You don't like my music? I, I, I got a lot of fans. Say, my fans like it, so I'm just going to keep it moving. But that's his opinion. I mean, he got to hear a title to it. That because, right there would shut Joe right down. Because that's too easy. It's too easy for him to say something like that. So he has to, he has to play the character role. You know what I mean? As far as like, you know, tough guy stuff. You know what I mean? It's too easy for him to say that. Because if he said that, I would have respected him more for saying that. I literally said, yeah, man, it's all good. He, he could, that's his opinion. You think I'm trash? That's cool. I mean, I like yeah, my shit. he could have said that. He could have said that. But, you know. He got he got an image to uphold, man. So he ain't even he's not gonna he's not gonna take that route because I promise you, if he did that, then it's gonna be somebody. It's gonna be somebody in his camp. Yeah, yeah. That non-relevant nigga. You a sucker? Joe say that to you, son? He let Joe. His Joe. His his homie. His homie that was up, nigga. His homie that was on the couch. While yeah. he was playing Madden or whatever, he probably was telling him right then and there, yo, you got yo, you gotta talk to that dude, son. Yo, you gotta tell that dude what it is, bro. Yo, you can't everybody let him know. Talk everybody to know like NBA Young Boy is fake. They talk about it all the time. Like, go read the comments. Go read the comments. Niggas like, bro, you you the biggest fake rapper ever, bro. You ain't never do nothing. Come to Death Mountain. Like, come on, bro. Like, yo. Niggas is in the comments f- frying this dude. They're frying him. Like, yo, you are you are the biggest clown ever, dog. You're not a, you're not a thug, bro. This reminds me of the whole Ti thing. It's him. But either way, man. Shout out to Joe. Hey, man, NBA boy, stop being so. If you so if you so thorough like you say you is in your music, then why are you worried about what somebody say about it? Like. Come on, bro. Don't don't act as if somebody's stopping your momentum. Joe's not a big deal. So if Joe's not a big deal, then how can he stop your momentum? <laughs> your momentum. Like, come on, bro. Niggas don't even know what momentum even means. <laughs> like, they just damn words. He gonna stop my momentum. What does that mean? Uh, um, I don't, uh, I don't really know. It's something. It's anyway, man. We out of here, Sketch Cat Podcast. See y'all. Peace.